unconditional love covers the front of Club Q. For years, many have supported this community by coming here. Isaiah Ponte did by going out with a friend that night. We're actually talking about getting food like five minutes before it happened. We didn't listen to our gut and leave, but we ended up staying and the whole thing ended up happening. Isaiah says they were sitting on a bench inside when the suspect walked in. People initially reacted either were able to escape like through one of the back doors. Uh, my buddy ended up trying to escape like right in front of me. I saw him run get shot three times down on the ground. He knew quickly down. running away wasn't an option. I ended up just like putting down the tables that were that were sitting at so that I could just like get down on the ground. And then while seeking cover on the ground, that was when um he shot and it went through the table and the shrapnel got stuck in my arm. With bullet like, fragments like, in his arm, Isaiah was quiet to stay alive. So I ended up like playing dead for like 20 seconds. And once he made it past me and I didn't see his head towards turn my way anymore, that was when I like peeked around the corner. So I just like rushed out the back, hopped over a fence with my arm able to climb it. And then I waited out front like in a trunk bed. He hid until it was safe to come out. That's when Isaiah saw support outside Club Q. People were handing out rags and trying to just like, hey, do you need to like need something for your arm until people get here? Community is at Club Q one week later. It began moments after shots were fired. At a place like that, everybody's looking out for each other rather than just themselves. Isaiah's friend survived and he's still recovering in the hospital. Isaiah came home on Friday. He's only lived in Colorado Springs two months and he starts a new job tomorrow. Kyle. Man, and you just think how many people were, were so close to losing their lives that day based on the firepower that the suspect came in with and what a crowded environment it was. Yeah, and some of the accounts from people on what they did to survive, like he said, got shot and managed to stay quiet through all of that pain. Glad he's recovering. Kelly, thank you.